Hey y'all, I wanted to kind of put myself out there and show you some of my ceramic stuff. I don't usually have a lot of ceramic videos because you guys know I'm usually um, uh, mostly resin artist, but I wanted to show you some of my these and how I do it. This is not the traditional way to get a swirled piece, but I don't like to wedge clay. It takes forever and my hands just hate it. But I'm gonna show you how I did this one. Um, I hope you guys like it. Let me know down in the comments if you wanna see more of these videos. I know it's not what we usually do here, but I do all of kinds of artwork. And so I wanna show you all of the versions of things that I do. Um, so let me know if you want to see less of these. I look forward to hearing what you guys think and yeah, let me know. Hey you guys, so here is the process of making that piece. This is a ball of clay that came fresh out of the bag. I didn't wedge it, which means I'll have to cone it a lot, but I cut a lot of the coning, which is what I'm doing right now, out. Um, I realize that a lot of you guys don't, um, do ceramics probably but let me know down in the comments if you do so I'm gonna be really kind of explanatory with a lot of stuff so after I coned it and got it everything centered I'm cutting out little slashes everywhere and I'm going to just put in some of this darker clay in those areas if you decide to do this if you do ceramics um, just make sure you don't trap in any air when you push these like fillers in because that will not be good for what you're trying to do. So after I get all these put in, I'm going to recenter it, get everything smooth, and then start shaping my piece. Um, it gets really groggy and muddy almost immediately, which is perfectly fine. The thing I like about um, just putting colors in like I did today instead of wedging colors together is that you never really know where the different colors are going to end up because it depends on kind of where you pull from, what kind of pressure you you use to pull the clay from the bottom up through the body of clay to the top. And I'm doing this a lot because I'm trying to get some height. And if I move too much clay at one time, it, it gets off and it starts to wobble. And I'm also just trying to redistribute clay in different areas on my way up. I almost never know what shape I'm going for. And this is definitely not what I was initially going for. But I kind of like it. It's a little bit of like a plus size bud face. But I love seeing when you scrape the, the slip or the grog or the water away what it looks like. And so after it's kind of dried overnight, it's now leather hard which is fancy speak for not fully dry, but doesn't mush when you push it together. Now, a lot of people trim with this big trimming thing, and I like to use these little wire tools because I love the trimming process. It's so therapeutic to me. I love slowly whittling my pieces down and shaping them with these little tea tiny tools. I love these little swirly sprigs that just fall. I wish there was something I could do with those. I feel like I want to make a little nest, a ceramic nest. Sounds so ridiculous. I know, I'm aware, but I like these little streamers of clay. I, I just need to find something to do with them. Also, Bowie says hi. So after I get a lot of the shape done, I'll be able to see where I want the foot to be. And the foot is just the base of the vase or bowl or pot or whatever. And then I'll mark out where the base is and trim up to that point and refine the shape with a number of different little trimming tools. This one is the one that most people would use to trim the edges. I realized that by my other hand being on the surface, it was kind of smearing the brown clay into the white. So I have to be careful how I touch the piece. And then I just trim out the foot. And what this basically does is just takes off a bunch of the weight. Because you can't see that part anyways. So make a foot. Clear the weight. And yeah, I really appreciate you guys letting me show you 
um, what I'm doing with my clay. It's super intimidating to show you guys this. Oh, and the top was very off, so I just stuck the, the piece down and trimmed the top, and then I trimmed the rim, and then I wet my fingers and refined the rim. So that's what the vase looks like. Uh, while it's leather hard, I still have to fire it, and I still have to figure out how I'm going to glaze it, but the chocolate areas are supposed to um, turn almost black. So thank you guys for listening to me ramble while I do one of these multicolored bases. I don't know if you enjoyed it. I didn't show you the full, full process. I cut a lot of it out because it would have been a forever long video. But if you want me to be more explanatory um, when doing something like this, I don't know if that's something you're interested in, but I can totally do that. I have a number of vases, um, shapes and sizes that I would love to show you guys. If you're interested, I'm not gonna force you to watch me do clay if that's not something that you wanna see me do. I'm here for you guys, so I wanna show you what you are interested in seeing. So please let me know down in the comments below. Just for good measure, I wanna show you some of the other pieces that I've done. Um, and let me know if any of them are something that you would like to see how I did. These ones are all fired, but I love these shapes for the most part. I think they're super fun. Some of my little designs. I'm thinking about adding these pieces to my website. Um, if any of you guys are interested in supporting um, some of my adventures that aren't centered around painting, I would love it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm super interested in hearing about it. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you guys maybe live tonight. I can't remember what we're doing, but either way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the tests so you don't have to. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Bowie says bye. Also, Canvas.